A research plan is composed of, first, the title of the study, second, the question or problem being addressed, third, the goals or expected outcomes and the hypothesis, fourth, the procedures, and lastly, the bibliography. The first part of a research plan is the title of the study. It is written in an inverted pyramid form. It should be brief, comprehensive, and catchy. The second part is the question or the problem being addressed. It should include the background and the source of the problem chosen to be addressed in the study. It should also include a review of related literature especially studies related to the problem being addressed that have been conducted to assure the researcher about the feasibility of the study. Sources of the RRL should be acknowledged to avoid plagiarism. The third part of a research plan is the goals or expected outcomes or the hypothesis of the study. It states the goals or objectives of the study. The main objective is usually stated in declarative sentence, but the specific objectives are usually written in an interrogative type of sentence. Here, the dependent and independent variables are identified based on the aforementioned statements. Hypothesis temporarily answers the stated questions. Usually, only null hypothesis is written. The fourth part are the procedures. It includes a step-by-step -step procedure for every task to be undertaken. It is written in an enumeration bulleted form using the future tense of the action words or in a to be form. It also includes the statistical tools that will be used and the research design to be employed. The last part of the research plan is the bibliography, which may include hard copy or written and online sources. For books, journals or magazines, they should be written following the APA format arranged in an alphabetical order. For online sources, the dates when they were retrieved should be indicated.